This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you are having a great Saturday because that of course is the day that this video is going out. Now for me, it isn't a Saturday, it's a Thursday. Um, since I've started doing these two videos a week, I've, um, I've been trying to uh, record, edit and upload in advance. So uh, today's Thursday for me. I've got a video coming out today at 12 o'clock. I've got another video coming out uh, Saturday. I've got another one ready for Thursday, and uh, this one I'm recording right now is for so Saturday, so it's next Saturday. So, I am literally talking to the future. I, you are the future. One week and two days ahead of, of me right now. So, uh, welcome to the past. <laughs> um, right, so yeah, like I said, it's Thursday today. We've just come down from Swindon. We uh, come down to Southampton. I'm obviously so tired. <sighs> Ready up. Yeah, um, so we've gone down to Southampton this morning, we've been loaded and now we're on our way to Salisbury. Um, same place we've been to before, we've got to go under that bridge, tight right hand turn at the roundabout. You have seen it all before, but you're going to see it again anyway. Um, after this run, we've got to go back to Southampton and then we've got to go to Boscombe, which is uh, sunny Bournemouth, and that's also another Sydney's plant there as well so um, we are repping the Sydneys today repping the Sydneys indeed so yeah on the way down this morning I done a live stream on my YouTube page um, considering it was half past five in the morning I, I find it amazing that like I think 30 people joined straight away all within a second of me going live and um, to be honest with you, it wasn't the best live stream because all you could see was the road ahead and it was dark out. So it's not the best, but about, I'd say 15 to 20 people stayed the whole way through. So that's dedication for you, well done. Bloody hell, you cut in a little bit. But yeah, yeah, I do plan on doing some live streams soon. Better ones than that. Um, the only downside to that live stream is that I was listening to the radio um, while I was coming down to Southampton. And uh, once the live stream finished and it, um, it normally publishes itself to your YouTube page. People who didn't watch live can then re-watch it. But you can't watch it because um, the radio was on and uh, so it's been blocked worldwide, I think. Um, definitely in England, anyway. Um, it's been blocked, so you can't see it because uh, of copyright claims, because of the music that was playing. Nothing happens to my channel, it just um, is blocked, that's all. The video, not my channel. So it's not the end of the world. If you saw it live, then you saw it. But if you didn't see it, unfortunately, it's not there anymore. But like I said, I do plan on doing a couple of live streams sooner or later. The last live stream I've done, like proper live stream, is when i done my first night out working down here. So another one is due. Definitely. Look, look at that van. Look, even a van struggles to get around that corner. And I've got to get an Arctic round. Right, hopefully we don't see a lawyer on the other side. We're good. Can't get past that gap. All right, we're all good. The um, really good thing about um, the time is that it's um, it's, well, it's nearly eight o'clock now. I've beaten all the rush hour traffic. Um, I've come straight through Salisbury. I haven't had to stop once, other than at red lights. Um, but yeah, there's been no traffic or anything, so um, that's been perfect. Absolutely perfect that there's been no traffic. And I suspect by the time I'm tipped, it'd be nearly nine o'clock and the traffic could be dying up again. So, like I said, perfect time to have been coming down here. Right, not one of these cars are going to let me through. Thank 
Thank you very much. Excellent. Right, I'm not going to bore you seeing uh, showing you stuff that you've already seen. Um, I've just got to go around a big circle and then we'll be pulling up. Right, we're just navigating our way through all this traffic. Lovely, lovely. Just want to turn right at this roundabout and then uh, we pull up on the left hand side. then uh, we're here. So we're pulling up here on the left and Sidham's is there on the right. Morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet. <laughs> right, see you guys in a bit. Right, we are now tipped. We're going to get a crack of luck in. Um, this place is very, very quickly becoming my favourite place to tip. They are incredibly quick. So I'm just trying to concentrate so I can get out. So obviously no one wants to let me. Yeah, they're uh, incredibly quick to tip. Incredibly quick. Uh, they've actually just set a new record. Being 18 minutes. That's a fully, fully loaded tip. That is 18 minutes, which is fantastic. So yeah, they're uh, very quickly becoming my favorite place to go to for that reason. Now, the downside is, because they're so goddamn quick in getting me tipped, they've now released me smack bang in the middle of rush hour traffic. Um, it's half past eight, so it's gonna be busy. Just wondering how many cars are gonna be brave enough to go through past me while I'm coming along. Uh, just putting the sat-nav uh, where we're going and yeah, there's traffic. At the moment, there's 11 minutes worth of traffic. Uh, yeah, so this roundabout could be fun in a sec. If there's a lot of traffic coming this way, so we'll, uh, we'll just get there a second and just find out what the situation is there. Sun's out as well. Sun's out, gun's out. Come on then. Oh, that sun is bright. All clear on the right. And the other side of the road is clear. Brilliant. Right, now we need to turn right here. Oh, there's lots of school kids about. careful of my trailer. Oh, this roundabout is going to be annoying. All these cars coming down. All these kids are going to want to cross, I think. And I need to be over there where they are. A 
everyone just keeps coming. They, they can see I need to go on their side of the road. Right. We're out of there. This is, that was awkward because of the zebra crossing. Um, lots of kids wanted to cross. And then the cars coming the opposite way didn't want to come. They wanted to let me go first, but I needed to be where they were. And then as I was going around the roundabout, um, obviously on the wrong side of the roundabout, cars were still coming along and trying to turn right around me. So I've got to give way to them, which is fair enough. Like I said, I'm on their side of the road technically, so. Oh, I've got a car down the left-hand side now. He's going to find out very quickly. He's going to get squashed. You just keep coming, mate. Right in my blind spot. What an idiot. He's essentially uh, stopped me from going now. He's, you can't see him, but he's right down there. I can only just see him. If I go now and turn left, my trailer's going to hit him, so I can't move when those lights turn green. I have to wait for him to, to, to move himself. Rush hour traffic, eh? Turn green. That car there, not very clever. I mean, like I could quite easily have, you know, hit him. If I didn't know he was there, I could quite easily have hit him. Luckily, I'm paying attention, even though I'm vlogging. Right, so we're going to head back to Southampton now, get reloaded to go to uh, Bournemouth when it's at Boscombe, another Sydney's place, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, so we just pulled up in uh, in Walston, Southampton now, um, just under Richmond Bridge. You won't be able to see it, but it is just there. Uh, pulled up because I need to have a break. I'm on three hours and 50 minutes of driving, so I've only got 40 minutes left of drive time. Uh, and I know I'm going to Boscombe which is uh, well over an hour away, so I'm not going to be able to get there unless I have a break. So I might as well have a break now, reset the clock, I'll have four and a half hours drive time left. Plus I started at um, like 20 past four this morning, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got to have a break by 20 past ten, and it's half past nine, so might as well just get a break in now. Uh, so Luke C and HDV is going to get a break in and go get some food and drink from the co-op around the corner. and. Uh, yeah, then we go get loaded. We are officially on our way to Boscombe uh, in Bournemouth. Actually, is Boscombe in Bournemouth or is it near Bournemouth? Is, it, is Boscombe like the Greenbridge of Swindon, for example? Greenbridge is in Swindon, but everyone calls it Greenbridge. So, I, mean, I don't know. I, I go to Boscombe and uh, it's basically in Bournemouth, essentially. That's where we're going. Uh, we are going to Sydenham's in, uh, in Boscombe. So as I said earlier, we are well and truly repping Sydenham's today. I've just finished a live stream, um, which is on my YouTube channel right now. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this or not yet, but I've done a live stream this morning on the way to work. I think I've mentioned it. I've been, uh, I've been very, very active today on social media, so I don't know what I've said where. <laughs> In case I haven't said, I've done a live stream this morning on the way down to Southampton um, and it was just a picture of the road and um, it got blocked by YouTube because the radio was on and uh, it got a copyright infringement. It doesn't affect my channel in any way, it's just uh, I got an infringement because of it. Someone sent me loads of photos, it's very distracting. Um, yeah, so I got an infringement on my... On, on my video, not the channel, on the video because I had the radio on, so it got blocked. So I've done another live stream just now while I was waiting to get loaded. And uh, so I just want to say thank you to any of you that did watch that. I think about 100 people or so were tuned in to watch that live. So that's good. So thank you very much. So uh, yeah, we're on our way to um, Boscombe now. 
it's really nice there but when we when, when I've been there before normally I've got to wait to get let in and uh, also got to do uh, a dodgy reverse to get into the place so that'd be interesting so yeah I'll see you when we get there this video is sponsored by trailer training UK operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses they also do car and trailer courses and many more I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence. They got a 91.7% first time pass rate. And if you quote Luke, see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Okie dokie, we're just coming off the A31, no, A338, that's the one. just coming off it's very sunny out which is nice now we've got to go through like a town centre now so um, it can be a little bit tight in some places Jesus that sun Here we go. Yeah, we're, we're only a mile and a bit away, but I thought I'll uh, I'll record the journey in. Give you guys something to look at as well, isn't it? So we just want to turn right here. Yeah, so uh, the place we're going to, Sydenham's, um, I've been here, I would probably say, maybe three times? Yeah, I think three times. But every single time I've been here, I've had to wait an hour or so. Um, well, not maybe an hour, but I've had to wait to get in. So I'm, I'm not expecting to be able to go straight in. It would be nice if I could. But, um, but yeah, no, I've always had to wait. One time I had to wait behind two lorries to get in, so I was here for a while. Oh, van, no. So hopefully we ain't got to wait too long today. Green light, let's go. Red car, move. Nothing on the left, so I'm gonna take a nice wide swing. That bloke has decided he wants to walk on the wrong part of the road. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. I think there's a park over here on the left somewhere, I think. I've said it before, it sounds proper dodgy, but I do like to keep an eye out on children's parks. And I know that sounds dodgy, but um, I used to love taking my kids to lo like loads of different parks. Like every weekend we'd go to a new park, and they, they loved it. We've not been to any new parks for a while. Very bumpy. Jesus. What was that? Can of deodorant just popped out. Oh, my mate's calling. Mr. Ashford, I, um, I'm currently recording live on the vlogging right now and uh, people can hear you. Hello people, how are you? I'm not, well, I'm not live, but it is recording and will be published to the uh, to the, uh, I can't get my words out, to the, to the vlog I'm recording. <laughs> no, you can't, say, you, you can't say that word. Why? You can't say that word. Why? Because some people find it that... It describes you so well. Yeah, <laughs> some people find that word <laughs> offensive. Well, they'll have to get over it, won't they? 
I, I'm going to go now. I'll call you back later. Okay, have fun. See you later. Bye, Be people. Best, fri Bye. best Bye. friend Bye in the world. Followers. Bye, people's followers. I'm leaving. <laughs> See you later. Um, <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, that was the kind of deodorant that fell out over that bump. Well, it's quite quite tight to get round this corner. The trailer does get very close to that metal banister where the person is leaning on. Don't want to take his head off. And then coming up, we've got a left-hand turn, but I need to be on the right-hand side of the road to make it. I was just speaking to my girlfriend on the phone and we were talking, she's a childminder, and she's talking about how she put Fireman Sam on for the children because they were upset. And I was talking about my favorite program when I was a kid. I'm 27 years old, so if there's anyone 27 years old watching this, and if you agree with what I'm about to say, drop me a comment on the, section, on the comment section down below. My best program growing up as a kid, Budgie the Little Helicopter, by far. And I was trying to say to her, to say to her what the, like, the theme song was, and it was like, Budgie the little helicopter, do, 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 which is really cool. Now I need to get on the right-hand side of the road to make this. Lights are still green. Lovely jubbly. Right, I can see that there's no one waiting to get in, so that's a good start. Hopefully, uh, well we can't go straight in, I need to let them know I'm here first. But hopefully I can go down, go say hello, and then they come and let me in. But you'll see in a second, to get in I've got to turn right, go down the wrong way, and then reverse back. Thing behind me. Yes. Hazards on because we park up here. Uh, looks like we can go straight in. I'll let them know I'm here first because I need a banksman to watch me in. But yeah, we've got to turn down there to the right and then reverse back across the road. We need a banksman to, uh, to stop the traffic. <coughs> right. All delivery drivers must report to security before entering yard. That is what I'm about to do. Right, so we need to reverse in now. So we just need to drive to the right to get in. And then reverse back. It's not an easy reversing manoeuvre this. speed bumps. Right, now we can start going backwards. Now we've lined up. He's stopping the traffic. Some person just walked out behind me, just had to stop. Very close to that gate.
Seriously, some people. So, yep. No worries. people walking on the side paths. I need to start turning left ASAP. Right. That's the hardest bit done. It's pretty much now just straight forward. Back straight backwards. Dash cam can come off now actually, because I'm not allowed to show anything, am I? Right, done. Mate, he was, it? Was that a yeah, he was, yeah, I had to stop, I was I would have hit him. Yeah. You don't want paperwork. Right, we are did good to go. The only problem is it's a bit tight. There's a forklift there in the way anyway, so I'm gonna wait until he comes down here. I will edge forward just to make my intentions clear. What's this car doing? This car just drove forward and cut in front of me. Yeah, I should be able to get past all this once that forklift has moved out of the way. Been in tighter sights. They got one of their own. They got one of their own lorries waiting to get in. I turn my engine off because I don't want to seem impatient. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So um, when we um, start to move, I will cut cut to it. You don't want to be seeing me just sitting around doing nothing, so yeah, see you in a bit. Right, just been given the thumbs up to go. Just waiting for the forklifter to move forward. Is he staying there to let me through? Looks like it. See you later, bud. And around we go. Got them out on the curb just so my trailer gets past this truck. And off we go. Back to Southampton we go. Oh yeah, this road was bumpy, wasn't it? Was it this road? No, it wasn't this one. Stay, stay. Thank you. Yeah, so um, I don't know what we're doing next. Um, as far as I'm aware, this is I'm done for the day. Um, so one of two things will happen now. I'll either go back to the yard and they'll put something else on me to do today, or they'll preload me for tomorrow, and it'll be a case of whether I can get that delivered today or not to make tomorrow shorter. It would be nice because tomorrow's Friday, and we all want to go home early on a Friday, don't we? So we'll have to wait and find out. We will have to wait and find out. OK, 
Okay, this is quite a tricky junction to get out sometimes because you need to take up both sides of the road and people need to be stopped quite far away down there. Or the trailer's going to hit them. What's all, what's all this stopping for? Ah, red light. I don't think this black car wants to let me out. If he did, he would stay still. She did let me out, but she didn't leave me enough room to get out. She was stopped after these traffic lights. If you look at my trailer, bang, would have hit her. Very nice of her to let me out, like, but it's just one of those things that people don't understand how much room you need to get out. So, never mind. Anyway, off to Southampton we go and let's find out what we're doing next. Right. Ugh. Let's reverse in. It's quite gravelly here, so I am going to put my diff lock on so I don't spin as much. Now I've got to go and I turn it off. Oh, that's a bit closer than I really want it to be. Lovely jubbly. People walk past this side all the time to get in. I've got a, like a, a rubbish tip behind me as well, so I've got to go a bit careful I don't go too far back. Ain't that a day? Right, so. We're now parked up, but we're not taking the card out yet because I've still got to do some stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Gonna need some mounts so you can see what I'm doing. That one should do the trick. Bye, see you outside. So you can't quite see from this side, but it's the bags over there on the other side of the trailer that I'm worried about. They're quite high. So I'm gonna lob over some rope. It's the other bag that I can use. I tie down two things, two separate bags using one rope. That's the plan anyway. Okay, so now the straps on this side. Do the same here. I don't spend much time strapping, so I'm not quite as good as CJZ. Straps all the time, I expect he does. I've heard, uh, I've heard CJC likes his straps.
no one can say that that ain't on. Exit. So now, all straps. So as you can see now, the uh, bags that were too high are now strapped down. So, uh, happy days. Okay, task two is the light. So, this is my light here. And uh, let me go turn it on so I'll show you what, uh, what I mean by it's not working. So, ignition on, lights on. So, this is the light. See, that light's on, but there should be a side marker on here as well. And if I take you around to the other side, you will see that not only is that light on, but the side light is on as well. So that's what we need to do. We need to put a new bulb on, on the other side. Okay, so I need to take this light out and go and swap it for another one that I got in the cab, so be right back. Okay, so this is our new light. There we go. Now, we've just got to screw all these back in again. Right, that's it. Oh, we're now officially done for the day. Three o'clock. Ain't bad. Oh, this cab is a right mess. I need to tidy up. Um, obviously, tidying up your cab is not part of your working day. Um, I finished working in the cab. Now I'm living in the cab, so I can clean if I want to clean. But uh, yeah, I definitely need to have a little bit of a clean up. There's stuff all over the place. Absolutely all over the place. Ugh. Right, so that pretty much concludes this vlog as well. So now we're done for the day. There's nothing else I can record. What I will say is anyone who wants to become a lorry driver, when you finish and you go home, whether you stay out for the night or whether you go back to the yard, um, when you finish, always do a walk around check. Like I like to call it the end of shift check. I mean, you've always got to check your vehicle in the morning before you set off. Why shouldn't you check your vehicle when you park up? If you've got an issue, like I have, like with the lights and that, it's better doing it now while it's light than at five o'clock tomorrow morning when it could be raining and it's dark and you can't see as well. So, uh, yeah, my, I can't see the mileage. My advice, is um, always do a check when you finish as well as when you start because you can save yourself a load of aggro in the long run tomorrow is friday three runs planned for tomorrow uh, i'm gonna write down the first one right anyway thank you very much for watching this video uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm now going to have a tie dip in this cab and also edit this very video that you're watching on my old MacBook. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.